Office of the Feasibilities. Welcome to SSF. I'm Agnes San Jose, the Vice President for the Benefits Administration Division. Well, SSS is the agency that handles the fund for the private sector workers. So we manage the fund, we invest the funds. Uh, actually, we're in charge of the studies and enhancements of benefits, whether procedural or in terms of increases in benefits. Mm -hmm. We do the studies. Uh, we have uh, 14 offices offshore and we have more than 150 uh, offices dito sa Philippines. All of them accept yung yung application for membership pero hindi naman sila lahat nagpo-process pero yung mga, even those representative offices naman namin could ano could be parang could advise our members on where to go at saka kung ano yung dapat nilang gawin if they want to, to, to apply for benefits um, we have more than 29 million registered members Pero hindi naman lahat yung paying. Yung iba kasi doon, uh, they, they had become SSF members before but now they are in the, in the government sector or pwede din namang abroad na sila. So, yun yung registered sa amin. Yung, the, the Social Security Fund acts as a safety net for the workers uh, in, in times of contingencies like sickness, maternity, retirement, uh, disability, or death. Uh, like I've said, it, it acts as a safety net. So, if the worker loses his job, uh, let's say he got sick, so SS he could file for sickness benefit under SSS. Mm -hmm. It partially or wholly replaces the lost income. Similar to commercial insurance, but unlike in the commercial insurance, in SSS, there's a pooling of funds. So, hindi yung, yung what you just pay is what you will get. Kasi we, we have subsidized members, yung mga maliliit lang yung contributions. So, we have minimum benefits. Even though they have paid for minimal contributions, they will get the minimum benefit. Y nga, like I've said, it acts a, as a safety net uh, when you lose your job. So, halimbawa ng anak, uh, yung, yung member namin na babae hindi makakapasok sa trabaho so we pay for the uh, for 60 days in, ter in terms of uh, ano yun, kung normal delivery ngayon kung cesarean, 78 days wala kaming be walang maternity benefit or yung paternity benefit for the for the father yung loans uh, marami sa maraming may misconception dyan eh. yung loan is not a benefit it's a privilege that we give to the members. So, minsan kasi, uh, because some members don't get their benefits, halimbawa, hindi naman sila nagkakasakit, hindi nanganganak. So, yung pero nangangailangan sila pagka halimbawa yung bayaran na lang tuition fee. So, they could turn to SSS for a salary loan. But pero it's also must be paid kasi yung iba nga, it's a misconception na Pag nag-loan sila, kala nila komo nagbayad naman sila, they could loan. Pero hindi na nila babayaran. Pero yung loan kasi at the end, kung mag magpa-file na ng final claim or retirement, magbawasin din namin yun. Kung ano yung niloan niya, ide-deduct namin from the benefit that he will get. Yung ano kasi, contribution namin is based on the salary. At a minimum, uh, salary subject to contribution is 1000 so, pag 1,000, ang contribution lang nun is 104 pesos per month. So, kung halimbawa naman na malaki yung salary mo, ang ceiling na namin is only 15, 15,000. So, yung iba are getting more than 15,000. Of course, iba may baba 100,000. Pero ang contribution nila, only subject to SSS, is up to 15,000. So, kahit na halimbawa 100,000 yung salary niya, Ang salary lang na sinasubject to SS contribution maximum is 15,000. So, ang contribution sa 15,000 is 1,560. Mm. Sa ngayon, yun ang saving namin. So, yung iba nga, sabihan nila, bakit maliit lang yung makukuha kong benefit? I'm getting 100,000. Minsan, iba 300,000. 
Pero hindi naman sila nag-contribute based on that salary. Ang sin ang kinontribute lang nila is sa maximum nga is 1,560 pesos per month. Uh, sa ngayon, wala pa kasi yun nga yung ceiling namin. Though, there are proposals. We have been proposing na increase ng sana to pero pinag-uusapan pa yun. Pero ang one thing that we're going to launch siguro pretty soon is the yung provident fund. Para those who will, it's voluntary. For those who want to contribute more para pag nag-retire sila, they will also get more benefits from us. Ito yung voluntary provident fund. Yes. Uh, yung, yung, so we, ano natin muna, this is natin yung retirement. Yung retirement is based on, yung benefit mo will be based on the number of monthly contributions paid. Kung less than 120 months ang pinayad mo, so that's less than 10 years worth ng pagkatrabaho sa private sector, makukuha is only lump sum. Mm -hmm. Yung lump sum benefit is equivalent to the total contributions paid plus interest. So, yun yun. Pero malaki din yung interest ha. It's 6% per annum compounded monthly. So, you cannot get that anywhere else, di ba? It's the highest. Magkano na lang ngayon ng treasury bills, di ba? Napakababa na din. So, uh, yung namang napaghulog ng more than 120 months, ang kanyang makukuha is pension. Yung pension, kinocompute naman namin yun based on yung amount of contributions paid and the length kung gaano katagal siya nagbayad sa SSS. Meron kaming formula doon, pero meron din mga, like I said earlier, may mga minimum. So, ang um, pension formula is uh, 20% of the average monthly salary credit. Yung average monthly salary credit is the average of the last 5 years na salary. Plus, 2% for every... 2% uh, of the average monthly salary credit for every cre credited years of service in excess of 10. Plus, 300. So, on the average nga yung nagbabayad kami ng 3,000 per month. Mm -hmm. Well, you'll be surprised din naman kasi marami din nagbabayad na mababa lang ang contributions. Kaya, nagpo-pull down niya yung average pension. Ah, ayan. Uh, kami, we exercise as student management. Uh, katulad nung narinig ko na sinasabi ni Mr. Kulay ko, hindi ba, do not put all your eggs in one basket. So, meron kaming investment guidelines. Uh, it's even in our social security law na meron mga limits for each type of investment, meron kaming limits mm -hmm. na where we could in invest or kung saan din namin pwedeng invest. Meron kaming committee dito, uh, even up to the commission level, that uh, ensures the safety of the fund. So they evaluate the, the investment proposal. So bago kami mag-put in any investment, kailangan dum dumaan muna sa process. Meron kami, meron kami sa government and private securities. Retirement uh, is at age 60 on the earliest uh, and at the latest 65. So, pag 60, hindi ka pa, hindi ka pa nag-stop ng pagtrabaho, you're still employed, uh, you, you, should, you should continue paying the contributions. Now, pag dumating ka 65, wala employed, gawin na, pwede mo nang kuhanin yung retirement benefit mo. Now, how do you get it? You have to fill out the application form. Meron kami form, tapos uh, you have to submit it personally to any SSS office. Ngayon, kung walang, if you're, if a member is incapacitated or let's say abroad, hindi makakapag personally file to any SSS office, pwede naman siya mag-designate ng someone to represent him. Basta meron lang proper documentation. Oo, pwede din sila. So, FW. Yung iba naman kasi yung OFW, prior to their departure uh, from the Philippines, naging miyembro na sila. So, they could continue as voluntary paying members. Or kung hindi pa sila talaga nagiging miyembro, pwede naman sila maging uh, miyembro. They just um, filling out yung application for, for membership. Sa uh, website namin, it's downloadable. Pwede ka namang mag-print. Ano, mag mag we have offices uh, offshore. Meron kami Pero hindi naman lahat, syempre, ng mga sites. Kung nasan of that, yun, napakadami. So, pwede nila ipadala. Yung mga meron kaming office, pwede doon nila isubmit. Kung wala naman, pwede nilang ipadala to mail. Mm -hmm. Basta kailangan lang yung properly filled out. At saka meron mga kasamang documents. Like, we require yung birth certificate. 
uh, photocopy lang naman or baptismal just to prove yung kasi yung date of birth mo ano talaga uh, sa amin kasi merong once a member always a member eh. so kahit makapagbayad lang yun ng isa member pa din namin yun so nandun pa din yun sa database namin and they could still get benefits from us uh, hindi na wala kami lapsation and ito nga yung isang kaibahan din sa commercial insurance sa SSS hindi naglalaps yung policy kahit hindi nagbayad so even may gaps ka ano ba, uh, dati kang emplo employed pwede kang mag-continue as voluntary pay members. So, para ma-maximize mo yung benefit mo. Ngayon, yung mga naman na nasa ibang sector, nasa government sector na, when they retire, kung nakakompleto sila ng 120 months of contribution, they could still get the, the pension, retirement pension. Kung hindi naman 120, lots of them, makukuha din nila. Ayan ang trust namin talaga ngayon, yung mga informal sector. Uh, they could be members of SSS also as uh, self-employed. Yun nga, pwede. Uh, there are three types of member, members of SSS. Yun yung employed, self-employed, or voluntary. Yung voluntary, formerly SSS member na as employed or self-employed, pero nag-stop nag na sila pag sa self-employment or, or employment, formal employment, pwede sila mag-voluntary. Ngayon, yung mga... Uh, self, yung mga self-employed naman, may categories na yun. Yung mga formal, di ba? Yung mga uh, license, yung mga doctors, engineers, yung ganyan. Yung informal sector naman, ito yung sinasabi ko nga na ngayon namin na trust na talagang i-cover. Actually, matagal na namin silang kinu-cover. Pero ngayon, talagang yung aming campaign dyan ay uh, in full blast. Lalo na ngayon sa mga tricycle drivers, Meron kami tinatawag na Alcan siya, di ba? Uh, Ninaunch namin siya. Uh, it's like a piggy bank na everyday pwede kang mag-save doon uh, at the end of the month, babayan mo sa SSS. 104 is only based on 1,000. Mm -hmm. Ito namang mga to, kumikita to. Kasi kung 1,000, magkano lang yun? Magkano na bang minimum wage niya yan, di ba? Tsaka malaki din naman ang kita ng mga, mga tricycle drivers. So, they could pay siguro based on 3,000. Bali, magkano lang yun? 100 pesos sa nakita kada araw, di ba? Sa 30, 30 days, 3,000 na yun. So, that's 312 contributions per month. So, uh, yun nga, sab ko, uh, we're exercising prudent management. So, bukod dun sa pag-invest namin, at sinisafeguard namin yung mga investments. Meron din kaming mga controls. Like, uh, kung pensioners na, uh, meron kaming confirmation of uh, pensioners. This is to ensure na yung mga binabayaran namin mga pensionado, ay karapat dapat pa rin bayaran. Uh, baka kasi iba na matay na. Kasi ang pension namin is uh, through the banks. Na more than 99% ng pensions na, pensioners namin ay kumukuha ng pension nila through the bank. So, nagre-remit kami doon monthly. Ngayon, hindi namin malalaman kung buhay pa or patay na yon dahil continuously nagre-remit kami. So, pero kaming programa para dyan. So, dapat uh, yung mga pensioner namin ay pumunta doon sa mga sa banko kung do, saan sila kumukuha ng pension nila annually during the month of their uh, birth. So, para madaling tandaan. Dati kasi, contingency month. Yung kung kailan ka nag-stop magtrabaho. Mm -hmm. eh, medyo iba-iba yun eh. Mahirap tandaan. So, kaya binago namin, ginawa namin on the month of their birth. So, yun. Hindi na siguro makakalimutan yan. So, pupunta sila sa bangko kung saan nila kinukuha yung pension nila or sa SSS kung sila ay total disability pensioner. Kasi under the law, kailangan yung mga total disability pensioners magpa-physical examination. Kung disabled pa rin sila, or, or kasi pag naka-recover na, uh, kailangan ma-stop na yung pension. Diba? Mm. Ngayon, uh, yung mga 80 years old and above, hindi naman kailangan pumunta personally. So, kay pwede naman sila mag-submit na lang ng mga required documents. So, alam naman natin medyo mahina na. Ganyan. Or yung mga incapacitated, hindi naman namin sila pipilitin na pumunta ng SSS office. 
So, yung iba kasi, akala nila, basta, uh, annual confirmation. Kailangan personal. Eh, kung may mga sakit naman. Actually, nag, nagre-receive din kami ng request for domiciliary. So, yung mga miyembro na, yun nga, may mga sakit, hindi makakapunta, kahit yung mga total di, totally disabled person na yung mga pensioner namin, they could request yung doctor namin ang mag-visit sa bahay nila. At doon sila i-physical exam. Ah, oo, oo, kasi uh, computerized naman kami. Sa frontline, basta dapat alam mo lang yung SS number mo. And with proper identification, siyempre, dapat sa'yo yun. Kasi baka mamaya merong ibang tao na pala na nagpo-post. So, pag na-identify namin na ikaw yun, at gusto mong malaman yung ilang, ilan na ang contributions mo. So, yun nga, actually, ni-encourage namin yan eh, na bago mag-retire, uh, kailangan tingnan muna niya kung na tama yung records niya. Kasi minsan, pag magre-retire na, doon pala magkukore. Diba? Mali pala yung name niya na nakaregister sa SSA. Or yung date of birth niya. So, encourage namin talaga na tingnan yung records before mag-retire. Para pag re retire niya, mabilis yung pag-process ng application for retirement niya. Diba? Madami niyan. Uh, minsan, magre-retire. Kala niya uh, qualified na siya for pension. Tapos, hindi pala ni-remit. Ang, yun nga, dapat maging vigilant yung mga membro na titignan nga niya yung record, tiriremit ba ng employer niya yung dinededact sa kanya. Minsan kasi dinededact na eh, pero dinedak na sa salary niya, pero hindi niriremit. So, in cases naman na ganun, pwede siyang magsabi sa SSS. Kailangan lang may proof din na talagang employed siya doon sa kumpanya na yun at dinedakan na, na siya ng dinededakan siya ng SSS contribution. Um, yung katulad mong una ko sinabi, dalawang factors yung nakaka-apekto sa monthly pension. Yung amount at saka yung length, kung gaano ka tagal nagbayad. So, yung mga membro namin, encourage namin talaga na magpatuloy na magbayad ng kanilang SSS contributions. Uh, yung iba na umalis na sa private sector, they could continue. Uh, kahit na member sila ng GSIS, Uh, pwede din naman silang maging magpatuloy ng pagbabayad sa SSS. So, sa ganyan, dalawa ang makukuha niya pension pag niya. So, para mas malaki din. Kasi, di ba, habang tumatanda, mas malaki din yung pangangailangan na mad madalas na magkasakit. Yung may mga degenerative diseases din talaga. Hindi naman may iwasan yan. So, kailangan natin talaga mag-save for our future. So, yun yung maganda doon. Kaya uh, ini-encourage namin yung mga membro namin na magpatuloy magbayad. Marami kaming mga system enhancements, mga procedural, na ini-evaluate. Well, continuous naman yun na pag-evaluate namin ng proseso namin kung gusto, gusto namin mapaganda. So, ngayon na meron kami yung uh, electronic workflow, DDR workflow. So, para ang um, aim nito, para mapabilis yung pag-process ng, um, ng application. Although, syempre, kahit anong bagay naman, may birth pains, di ba? So, may transition period. So, ngayon, medyo nandun kami sa period na yun, ng transition. Yung nagbabago ng from manual, nagiging computerized na. So, yung mga, mga uh, documents, ini-iska na yun from the receiving office papunta doon sa processing center. So, para mapabilis nga ang pag-process ng mga, pa mga application for benefits. Uh, marami din ini-introduce, ini like, i-introduce nga namin yung Providence Fund later on. Uh, inihanda lang namin yung mga sistema na dapat ihanda bago kami mag-launch. Uh, tapos yung amin ng campaign for the informal sector na mag-umasok na as maging miyembro ng SSS. Pwede siyang encourage namin yung uh, pumunta dun sa aming SSS website. Uh, pwede din dun mag-register as a SSS member na nandun. Eh, hindi mag-apply as coverage. Ah. Pero pwede, uh, kung SSS member ni siya, gusto niya makita yung kanyang record, pwede din through our website. Kailangan niya lang mag-enroll. So, kailangan niya na siya. Pero alam niya yung SSS number niya tsaka yung kanyang contributions na yung receipt kung kailan siya nagbayad. 
Tapos, pwede siyang pumunta din sa mga SSS office namin, bukod dun sa website. Pero sa website namin, nandun din yung mga commonly asked questions. Eh. So, pwede siyang, nandun na din ang mga application form, pwede siyang mag-download. Para hindi na siya maabala, di ba? Para mag-absent pa sa trabaho, pupunta ng SSS office. Sa lahat, ay uh, in-encourage namin kaya naalamin yung mga ano yung mga beneficiary yung makukuha from SSS na yung iba kasi nga tama yung sinabi mo no? yung iba ang alam lang yung pwede lang mag-loan sa SSS so marami kaming benefits sabi ko nga nung una meron kaming sickness uh, maternity uh, retirement disability and yung meron kaming funeral benefits ayan so pag mayroong mga contingencies, nandiyan naman ang SSS na maaasahan ng mga member namin.